Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I googled prank stock photo and that came up. That doesn't look like a lighthearted prank. He is covered in dust. He is not happy about it. He's not like, ah, he's like pissed off. He's ready to throw hands. Those are my types of pranks. When you take the prank so far, the person you pranked wants to get violent. Speaking of violence, I'm gonna be recreating some Troom Troom sibling pranks. To be completely honest, I don't really know what Troom Troom is. It's a thing you see on YouTube all the time and you're like, oh, that thing. I don't really know how to explain it. Linked below will be other people doing similar things regarding the legendary Troom Troom channel. It's sort of like five minute crafts, but like not. I don't know. It's some internet company. They make a lot of videos. They get millions of views. I watched one of their sibling prank videos and I was left confused with a lot of these pranks. So let's trim trim our way right into this and let's start recreating these mother effing pranks. The first sibling Troom Troom prank we're gonna do is pretty mild if I do say so myself. It's simple. Basically, it's just someone throwing popcorn on someone else. Wow, sis, you look like a movie star. You just need some popcorn to complete the look. Ha! Huh. Got you. This one's great, it's lighthearted, because popcorn you can just brush off. It's not like you're throwing salsa on someone, although that would also be entertaining to watch. Someone just doused in salsa, like, are you kidding me? I have to take a shower again? If anyone ever does a prank of me where I have to re-shower, I'm gonna be pissed for three days. Thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> huh? Jacob! Yeah. You should go downstairs. What? Just, you should go downstairs, bruh. I made some food. Go downstairs. I'll follow you down. I just have to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> okay. Go downstairs. It's not a big deal. Okay. Why are you being so weird? Because I need to go to the bathroom. Come on. Why did you do that? Because it's a prank! <laughs> I mean, I saw you up there doing it. Also, I bought that popcorn yesterday. So you're gonna buy me a new one? I got Jacob good. He did not know what was coming. He claims he knew what was going on because he saw me filming myself upstairs, but I don't buy it for a second, bitch. He thought I was just daily vlogging, something I never do. Moving on, the pranks take a strange turn. This prank is all about the brother making his sister think her boyfriend is at the door. He printed off a picture of this girl's boyfriend, I guess, and he puts it at the peephole. She sees it and she's like, oh my God, the opposite sex is here. I have to get ready fast because I cannot show myself in my true form because men don't like that. So she hurries and gets ready, opens up the door. Uh, it's actually her brother holding the photo of the picture of her boyfriend. Time to recreate this on Jacob. So it's time to do the door prank. Except instead of making Jacob think his date is coming, I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to show a burglar because that's more fun. I actually don't own a printer because I'm so environmentally friendly. I don't f with paper. <laughs> There's a book in front of me. You don't see that though. So I'm gonna try this using my phone. Like I'm gonna put my phone through the peephole. I feel like that might work. That guy, if he was at my front door, I would cry. I just hope he can't see that I searched burglar in that top thing. Do I have to save this photo to make this work? I think I, you know, I have to go the extra mile and click save instead of just showing it straight up from Google. Turn the brightness on high. We're gonna do this. I think we're gonna get him good. Paul Brothers who? <laughs> we're the new vlog pranksters. I'm outside my apartment. I don't know why I'm whispering. I guess I just like put this up against there. Is that gonna work? I wish I could test this, but I can't because I'm in such a rush. What if the screen turns off? I hear him coming. Oh wait, did you see this through the people? <laughs> yeah, I saw that through the people. But I saw you behind it. Wait, are you kidding me? Yeah. I put so much work into this, I spent at least four minutes on this. You saw me holding it? I looked through there, but it still was scary because I was upstairs and then I texted you, who is that? But you didn't answer, so I was like, uh. When you first looked at it, were you like, oh, or was it just completely the whole time you were like, this is completely fake? <laughs> 
Completely the hold on. I was like, this Are you kidding? Did I hold it too far away? I think you hold it too Will far. you hold I want to see how it looks. Hold it outside there. I have to see how this looks, because now I just feel pathetic. Oh, yeah, that looks bad. Try to bring it closer. Is that good? Like, even closer. <gasps> Wait, that would have been the good thing. I held it way too far away. I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason, I thought the peephole zoomed in, so I had to hold it far away. For some reason, I oh. thought it was a zoom lens, but I think I'm wrong with that. A fish that. eye? I thought it was a magnifying glass. <laughs> Yeah, um, it would have looked if you went that close. Yeah. Pranked ya, sibling. That sucked. That was a fail. That was a major flop. I guess I held the photo too far away from the peephole, but now I know how to do it. You have to hold it very close. So I'm gonna bring that back, prank somebody else. It'd be really great if your town, like, someone from the prison escaped and there was, like, a photo of them all over the news. Google that photo, put it on the peephole. Make someone in your family think that the prison escapee is at their house. Got ya! You thought you were gonna die! <laughs> prank, bitch! Coming up next, the sister is gonna get the brother back! <laughs> You thought you pranked her? She's gonna get you back 10 times worse, son. Watch out. She puts lipstick on her hand and puts it on the brother's neck to ruin his date. So then like the brother will go to his date and the girl will be like, have you been talking to other bitches? And he'll be like, what? No, that's not a lipstick from someone I'm cheating on you with. It's from my sister. And the date will break up with him immediately and tell the whole school that something's weird with that family. I'm gonna ruin Jacob's date so hard. The only problem is he's not going on a date that I know of though, but sometimes he doesn't tell me. He'll just leave the house, pretend he's going to 7-Eleven. I find out he was on a romantic evening with a 68-year-old man. That hasn't happened yet. I think I'm supposed to just color some good old lipstick on here. How embarrassing for Jacob if he had this on his neck while at a sugar daddy appointment. These Troom Troom people know how to get your siblings good. <laughs> And really, they could just wash it off with a washcloth very easily. Don't ruin the Troom Troom fun, though. Let's do this, bitch. He's upstairs, so we have to whisper as we approach. Shh. We're in his room, so we gotta be quiet. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, what's up? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Wait, what's going on outside? <laughs> Move your hand. <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Wait, what, what are you doing? Uh, look, look, get up. Someone kissed your neck. <laughs> Stick off. Oh, this is so aqua. Oh my god, someone kissed your neck. Ew. Now oh. your date's gonna be ruined. <laughs> Will mom get mad? Are you so embarrassed? Yeah, my face is so good, and when I go to the date, he's gonna be so mad. That's a it sloppy kinda... ass kiss. The upper lip is so big, and the bottom lip, they forgot the filler on that one. It kind of looks like someone abused me. It looks like Kylie Jenner if she only had half the filler. How embarrassing for Jacob. <laughs> It's now time for the brother to obviously get revenge on his sister. The sister has a dress that she loves and wants to wear on her date tonight. So the brother's gonna put cable ties around it so she can't wear the dress to her date. Why is this whole thing just them trying to ruin each other's dates? These siblings are blocking each other's love lives. So the brother cable ties her dress and she sees it and she's like, what? I was gonna wear that on my date. Oh no, why is this dress so small that it could only possibly fit someone as skinny as Lucas Cruikshank? Instead of examining the dress and being like, oh, there's cable ties around here. Let me get some scissors and cut these off. She's just like, I guess I accidentally bought a size so small that nobody can fit into it except Lucas Cruikshank. He also puts worms in her shoes and she's like, what? No, stop, brother. This is how I imagine it to be to live at Team 10's house back in the day. Just constantly getting pranked, air horns in the face. Can't go through a day in peace without Jake Paul turning your bedroom into a whipped cream slip and slide. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, you guys, for this next one, bros, I'm gonna have to sneak into Jacob's closet. Ah! <laughs> I'm so nervous. I have to steal one of his favorite t-shirts and put cable ties around it. <laughs> Shh. We're in Jacob's room. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, yeah. I just want to borrow your chapstick. I don't have chapstick. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got the goods. I'm a pro prankster, guys. I'm bending over because I'm setting this on a candle and it's not tall enough for me. Oh, it actually is. I was just about to brag about how tall I am and skinny. So I actually don't have cable ties because I'm not a serial killer, but I do have duct tape. One sec. Shit, I thought I had duct tape. Where is it? 
I don't know who took the tape, who stole it, who came into my apartment and stole my effing duct tape, but it's gone. So how am I gonna do this? I guess I'm gonna have to improvise and like tie this into a knot or something. I mean, the cable tie thing is already so stupid that just tying your sibling shirt into a knot as a prank is only a little bit more stupid. This is gonna be hanging in his closet. He's gonna be like, oh crap, I can't fit into it. Like that girl from Troom Troom, when really it's like, can you see? Do you have eyes? This'll do. Hey, I'm back in your room just cause I wanna return the chapstick. What chapstick though? Okay, um, I just done returned the chapstick. Anyway, do you want to change shirts, maybe? Um, I feel like you should change shirts. What? I have a strong urge, psychic connection with the universe that's telling me you should change shirts. I don't think I need to change shirts. We're doing great. Anyone on? Come on! Try to have one of your favorite shirts, maybe. <gasps> okay. Wait, what did you do? <laughs> It's not your size. Why did you get such a small size? You can't fit into that. How do I get into it? <laughs> you could never get into that because it's so tiny and you're so big. Why did you ever buy such a small shirt? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. I ruined your date with your 68 year old sugar daddy. Good luck getting rent paid this month. <laughs> we gotta be good. I got him. This next prank is pretty juicy. It's very intense. Viewer discretion advised. Basically the brother attaches some cans to the sister's high heels. Passerbys hear Rosie coming from a mile away. Too bad she can't hear the best part. How embarrassing. Everyone's gonna see those cans and be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? You're a loser with those cans on your shoes. I'm unfollowing her on Instagram. If I saw someone in public dragging around cans on their shoes, I'd be like, oh, maybe this is her making a political statement about how all of us are technically, metaphorically dragging around so much waste with us everywhere we go. We go through life with piles of trash behind us that we don't even think about. And we really should be putting more thought into using reusable products and reducing our carbon footprint. Time to recreate this on Jacob. You guys are currently balancing on a hydro flask. Visco girl teams, time to get a LaCroix. Open it, chug it, like you're at a frat party and you're 19 and you wanna make out with Jim, even though he's dating Carrie, but he keeps texting you and being like, I like you, and you're like, I thought you were straight. And he's like, I am mostly, but not for you. And you're like, okay, but you're dating someone. And he's like, don't worry about it. And then you end up getting married. Just like that, chug. Crushed it. Well, I feel like a real idiot because I found the duct tape and I just texted half of my phone yelling at everyone saying, who stole my effing duct tape? It's one of you guys, I'm suing. I'm gonna have to take that back, say I got hacked. Sorry, mom, my iCloud got hacked and that's why I yelled at you for 17 paragraph text message. So we're gonna be duct taping this can to my brother's sandal. Literally so embarrassing for him. Everyone is gonna see this taped to his Adidas slide and be like, what an asshole, you know? Like people who were his friend are 100% not gonna be his friend and he's not even gonna notice that this is on there. Hell yes. Okay, so you guys, my plan is I set the scene for like him to perfectly walk out. Like it's right next to the door. So hopefully if he walks down and I'm like talking to him a lot, like really distracting him, he won't look at the can and he'll leave. Let's do this. Jacob! Yeah. Hey! Um, I really need you to run me an errand. Cause I'm in the middle of filming this video. What do you want me to do? Um, can you just like run to 7-Eleven to get me a Red Bull? Cause I'm starting to get a headache. I'll pay you for it. It's like you're my postmate, but you're my brother. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you probably should if you're a good person. I guess I will. Yeah, come on, down. Huh, keep looking at my face. Let's have a contest. Keep looking at my it's face. Contest? Yeah. Okay. Ha -ha. I even laid out your sandals for you. Don't look though. Oh, okay. Okay, where are the sandals? Put the sandals on. Put the sandals on. Give me the red bull, please. Put the sandals on. I already saw what's happening. Put the sandals on. <laughs> Don't look. Okay, what the red bull do you want? Um, sugar free. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? How embarrassing. Just keep walking. Oh my god. What did you that's literally so embarrassing. Are you kidding me? You would have gotten beaten up so quick, literally thrown to the ground, curb stomped, and beat, you know? You ruined my shoes. <laughs>
Got ya. What do I do now? <laughs> oh, he was so embarrassed. Troom Troom came up with a good prank for this next one. Basically, the brother sets two chairs together, puts a blanket over them, and like there's a hole in the middle. So like it looks like a couch, but there's a hole. So the girl sits on it and falls. She could have broken her ass. If one of my siblings did a prank on me where I broke my ass, I would sue them and never give them a Christmas present ever again, even if I drew their name in Secret Santa. Why don't you go upstairs? Why are you down here? It's not like I'm gonna do any more pranks or anything. Just go upstairs, I'm done filming the video. Now I'm just daily vlogging. So I'm not gonna like do any more pranks on you. I thought these pranks were supposed to be spread out, but I know what's gonna happen. Nuh uh, I'm not doing any more today, so you don't know. You don't have a daily vlog though. Uh, yeah. Jacob, stop looking. I'm doing um, a craft. Oh, okay. I looked that other way. <laughs> Shh. Alright, just keep not looking. <laughs> hey, now you can look. I just I just unwrapped my couch. <laughs> what? I bought a couch? I bought a couch on um, UrbanOutfitters.com. Do you want to try it out? I'm doing a testing video right now. I'm reviewing furniture. I thought you were vlogging. Oh yeah, I'm a vlogger too. Um, just come out and test it. Come on, try out the middle seat. Oh. Try out the middle seat. Okay. Wait, you, did you actually buy this couch? Yeah. At UrbanOutfitters.com, bro. Sit on the middle. It's like a blanket. Come on, sit down with us. Okay. see the chairs from the back, so I kind of knew. Nuh-uh, stop trying to pretend. Now you're just embarrassed that you got pranked. I'm not embarrassed. Why is this video still going on? Where are these pranks coming from? Well, shit, that's how it looked from the other side, so... It's kind of a fail, but it's okay. <laughs> I got Jacob so good, he's now paralyzed. Now it's time for a spicy prank. Get a water bottle, get a hot ass pepper, rub it on the water bottle, and then when that person drinks the water bottle, their mouth will swell. Ah, this water is so spicy. If they're allergic to peppers, at least. Even if they're not allergic, they'll be like, ow, that's spicy. What the hell? I actually like spicy food, so I feel like this one wouldn't work on me. I'm not even trying to flex. Ah, ha, ha, ah. I cannot wait to do this. Epic bra, jalapeno. Get Jacob's favorite water bottle and then just like really rub this all over the lid. Hell yes. He's gonna literally freak out. It's all covered in hot, spicy goodness. Put the lid back on like nothing happened. Like some sort of sociopath and let's do this. Time to deliver the goods. He's never gonna know what's up. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Hey, bro. I don't know, you seem kind of dehydrated. So I brought you a water? No, I've been drinking a bunch of water today already. Come on, take a sip. Come on, your skin needs it. I rock me or what? Just drink some water, bro. Take a sip of some water. There's a floaty in it. Nah, uh oh. It's not being dramatic. Sometimes the water bottle companies, they have produced other foods in there. You know that. It's not even opened before. <laughs> yeah, right. Paranoid ass. Come on, take a sip from the holy water. Why do you want me to drink it again? Cause you need water, you're a human being. <laughs> Anything weird? It just tastes like a little bit puppy. Does it hurt your mouth cause it's so spicy? <laughs> it, <laughs> it like tastes like a jalapeno or something but it's not spicy yet. Wait, so this is a plank? No. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, I bet you're burning right now. I honestly can't taste anything. It's just a minor purple, like it's not burning or anything. His mouth was burning. He actually said he didn't really notice anything. 
which is sad. I'm not gonna recreate this prank, but I have to talk to someone about it. So the brother gets a good old whoopee cushion, puts it in a pillow on a couch. So when his sister is hanging with her friends, she'll be making fart noises as she leans against the pillow. So this happens and her friends are like, ew, what the hell, you fart? First off, those are some fake ass friends. If you show a body function like a burp or a fart in front of real friends, they are like, that's kind of gross, but go you, let out that gas. I don't want you to get so gassy that you need to use Tums. So please let out the gas. Maybe not around me, but just keep on doing it, sis. Let that gas free. Another confusing thing about this prank is if those were your real friends, wouldn't you just be like, oh, that's not me. I know it sounds like I'm farting, but it's not me. Should we like investigate to see where this is coming from? Oh, it's a whoopee cushion. Instead, she's just so embarrassed in front of her friends, she can't even talk about it. Girl, loosen up. People fart. It's fine. And if those friends are actually leaving because you let one loose, fuck those hoes. Is what I say. This next prank involves making your sibling ingest glue. Get your sibling's lipstick, dab a little glue on it, and then when she puts the lipstick on, her mouth will be glued shut. She won't be able to talk or breathe if she has a stuffy nose. Hell yes. Apparently this is completely non-toxic. Like I think you could have this for lunch and be kind of fine. Like maybe a little bit of a sore stomach, but overall probably has protein in it. The tiniest little drop, you know? We got it. Jacob always wears lipstick, so this is gonna be perfect. Just gotta wait for it to dry. It's been like 20 minutes and it hasn't dried, so time's up. We gotta just do this. I'll trick him into not looking. I can't believe his mouth is gonna be glued shut. How embarrassing. Hey! I'm um, actually done with the pranks, but um, I'm doing, wanna do a beauty video where brother does brother's makeup, gay edition, you know? Um. I'm, Come on, I'm a makeup artist now, you know that. How are you filming another video like two minutes later? James Charles works all the time, so I'm working all the time too, because I also want to have a Morphe palette. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to put lipstick on. <laughs> you? On you! Brother does brother's makeup gay edition, you know, the trend that's going around. We should do it to you though. Oh, you can do it to me after? <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... Close your eyes. I would, um... Shouldn't we do the intro for the video? Oh, I already did it downstairs. Beauty girls don't do like intros like, you know what I mean? Well, have you introduced me? Brother does brother's gay makeup. Okay, close your eyes. I'm scared. <laughs> it's honestly fine. <laughs> <laughs> but go like this. <laughs> okay. This looks so good on you, honestly. Okay, one sec, leave your mouth like that until I go with the camera. The camera's out. I know, but I'm gonna go get it for a close up. Leave your mouth like that. Okay, now move your lips together like you're mixing it all together. It tastes like watermelon. Really push them together and like hold it. Now try to open. You were able to open your mouth easily? Yeah, what's supposed to happen? Oh, you're supposed to um, glue your mouth shut. You just put glue in my mouth? Yeah, it's a fun sibling prank. You're supposed to be like, oh my god, my mouth's shut. I need to go to the emergency room. Like that sort of fun vibe. You can eat glue? It's fine. That didn't work, even kind of. I don't know how much glue that Shroom Shroom guy put on the lipstick, but Jacob's lips didn't even kind of stick together. So I don't know if I did it wrong or Troom True is just one big lie. I'm suing. Can I speak to your manager? I'm also not going to do this Troom Troom prank, but I have to talk to you about it. This one is very elaborate. So I guess if you really want to prank one of your siblings, you make a treasure map <laughs> just from scratch, put it in their bag or something, or like slip it somewhere where you know they'll see it. So the treasure map is gonna lead to a bottle where you're gonna put their favorite artist's concert tickets in. So they'll see this treasure map, be like, oh my God, I'm gonna follow this for sure. Random ass treasure map, let's do it, sis. They get to the end, they think they're getting Kelly Clarkson VIP concert tickets, but nope, it's all fake. Number one, this is so intricate. What if the sibling sees the treasure map and just throws it away and is like, I'm not gonna waste my time doing this. It probably isn't even real. Second of all, she made the path on the treasure map in such a way that he almost walked off a cliff. She almost killed her brother. When the prank ends in death, you took it too far, at least most of the time. Sometimes that can be funny. This prank is so sad because he sees the tickets he gets already. He's so excited to go to Kelly Clarkson. And then his sister lets him know it was all fake. That's 
Up. He really wanted to see Kelly Clarkson. Look how sad his reaction to it is. And she's just sitting there laughing her ass off, so he smacks her. Violence is never the answer. Also, if the prank involves this much work for the person throwing the prank, it's sort of just embarrassing for them. Like, if someone did a prank on me like that, I'd be like, you really put in that much time? Like, you spent a day making a map, making fake tickets, buying a glass bottle. I'm embarrassed that I fell for it, but I'm more embarrassed for you. That being said, when Jacob least expects it, I will execute this prank on him. I'll make him think he's getting front row tickets to Ashley Tisdale's next concert. Last but not least, it's always fun to do a prank on your sibling that makes them get body dysmorphia. So for this prank, the sister gets done with a really intense workout and she's like, hey, maybe I'll weigh myself to see like how these gym workouts are affecting my body. You know, am I losing weight? Is all this work I'm putting in at the gym paying off? So while she's on the scale, the brother steps on the scale to add a bunch of weight. So the sister's like, like, hey, I'm not even losing weight. I'm actually gaining a lot of weight, shit. Which makes her go to the gym even more, train even harder, which drains her and overall ruins her self-esteem. This is a great prank. This prank even ends with the brother being like, hey, maybe do some more squats. Wow, Rosie, that's tough. Go do some squats. Now I'm happy he got those fake concert tickets. This prank is kind of messed up, but I'm gonna do it on Jacob anyway. Let's make him think he gains a lot of weight to ruin his confidence. Hey, you ever thought about weighing yourself? Um, I do it sometimes, but I, I like do, do I look bad or something? Or? No, not at all. You look great. That's why I think you should weigh yourself. Cause I think you've lost a lot of weight. Come on, get out of scale. Why are you smiling so much? I'm a happy person. This is like your fifth prank in a row. Is this like another <laughs> prank or is this just... I'm actually done with the video now, I swear. I just, I'm honestly vlogging, starting a vlogging channel, so. People really want to see my day-to-day -day life. And part of your day-to-day -day life is weighing. <laughs> oh, right now, this vlog is about healthy living. And so you should always weigh yourself, so you know if you've gained or lost weight. And I think you've lost weight, so I want to show them your accomplishments. Okay, should I get the scale then? Yeah. What is this ball? I just don't believe you. Come on. Are you doing like a fitness channel? Or what yeah. Is this yeah, I'm on fitness. Okay, let's see what you weigh. What's it say? Wait, 200? What the hell? <laughs> wait, wait. Let me go at it again. Oh, let's see. I fell for it. Did you actually fall for it? Yeah, I fell for it. I legit did. Did you really think you were a 200 pound mess? For a second, I thought I was. But then I realized, oh, it's you. Okay, do you want to show your real weight now? Or are you too embarrassed? If you guys want to see it. Okay. You're doing it again. <laughs> Got ya! Jacob actually fell for this one. This was the only one that like was kind of successful. He says that he actually didn't know I was stepping on the scale at it. At first he saw the weight and he was like, oh my gosh, I've gained a lot. But then he found out I was doing it. I got him good. I love pranks that involve people's self-esteem. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Thank you Troom Troom for making these prank videos. I wanna do more. I wanna just keep pranking Jacob with these amazing badass pranks. Thanks Troom Troom. Don't forget to subscribe, click that like button and if you also like ruining your siblings' dates for some reason, and comment below if you've ever done a prank that made your sibling eat glue. Bye, bitch.